Welcome to the course about the assessment of kidney function. In this lecture, you will hear about the measurement of kidney function, glomerular filtration rate, and the determination of GFR in older subjects. Welcome to the course about the assessment of kidney function. My name is Sabine Zitter. I am a nephrologist at the University Hospital of Graz. Glomerular filtration rate is defined as the rate of blood flow through the kidneys. It can be measured by endogenous and exogenous markers. For an exact definition of the renal function, these substances are only filtered through the glomeruli and not secreted or reabsorbed in the tubular system. In 1886, Max Jaffe discovered the reaction of creatinine with picric acid and developed the analytical procedure for the measurement of creatinine. Fifty years later, Paul Brandreberg established the first concept of renal function and in 1929, E.J. Müller brought up the word clearance for a determination of renal function. Even nowadays, creatinine remains the most important marker for GFR and the analytical procedure is a modified Jaffe method. Creatinine can be measured in plasma or serum as well as in urine. The creatinine clearance is evaluated by the concentration in the blood and in the 24-hour urine collection using the formula creatinine concentration in urine multiplied with volume of 24-hour urine and divided by creatinine concentration in the plasma. The results are only reliable if the 24-hour urine collection is performed correctly. But 24-hour urine collection is unpracticable and therefore several physiologists, nephrologists and mathematicians worked on the invention of the best formula to estimate GFR based on the serum concentration alone without the need for error-prone urine collection. A novel endogenous marker for GFR is cystatin C. Cystatin C is a protein produced in all human cells. Its production is independent of muscle mass and it is filtered by glomeruli. In contrast to creatinine, cystatin C is degraded when it passes the tubular system of the kidney and therefore it cannot be detected in urine. Nowadays, more than 50 formulas for the estimated GFR are available based either on the blood concentrations of creatinine or cystatin C or both. The commonly used creatinine-dependent formulas are the classical Cockroft-Gold equation, the MDRD formula and the CKD-AP equation. The Cockroft-Gold formula is one of the oldest EGFR equations and mathematically very simple. The formula is based on creatinine clearance results of 246 males. This formula requires input of the weight of the subject. With the beginning of the computer era, formulas based on regression models were created. Besides age and gender, no further characteristics of the subject are necessary to estimate the GFR using these formulas. Therefore, each GFR determination can easily be implemented in routine laboratory programs. Data for the invention of the MDID formula 
are revealed from 1,600 subjects who underwent a GFR measurement with radio-labeled iothalamate. Since the MDRD formula often underestimates true GFR in the upper normal range, the CKD EPI formula was developed based on radio-labeled iothalamate clearance results from more than 8,000 subjects. The CKD EPI formula subdivides the normal range of creatinine to an additional low normal range for female creatinine below 0.7 and for male creatinine below 0.9. Therefore, the results for the EGFR based on the CKD-AP formula in healthy subjects with normal kidney functions are closer to the real measured GFR. But what are the pitfalls of EGFR formulas? Let me demonstrate the correlation between GFR and creatinine. It is a curve like this. Looking into the details, we do not have a simple curve, but an area of correlation. And this makes the estimation of GFR difficult and uncertain, especially in the upper normal range. A subject with a creatinine level of 1.0 mg per deciliter may have a GFR in a range between 50 and 150 ml per minute. 